Yes! Finally, I can now do my Link Cosplay Showcase. This one of the video is going to be quite long since I've got a lot to say in this one. I was going to do it with my shades on, but I keep doing it in my face. You know, the width. So I thought, oh, I'll just do it with shades on, that's fine. Right, so um, I've made some notes here, so you might see me going down like this quite a few times, so I don't get lost in what I'm saying. About five years ago, as you can see, I wanted to do a Link cosplay, so I thought, oh, let's go to cosplaystation.com, they're pretty good. So I went and got the wig here, I got the green hat, known as the cap, I don't know why they call it a cap, you'd think it would be like Mario or something, but oh well. Um, I got the green tunic, as you can see here, I've got the white under rolls, and I got the boots, which unfortunately doesn't fit me now because they were size 8 instead of size 9. And um, I also got some old. <laughs> probably can't see it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was supposed to be for that bit, but I've got some new ones. And here's some portal belts as well. <laughs> I don't know. Cosplay station are pretty good. Um, I did order some more stuff later on from a company called Ecti. They are more expensive, but they managed to get me this belt here. And they managed to get me like all of this as well. And they managed to get me this belt here as well. You probably can't see that. Actually, yes, you can see it. Only just. <laughs> so they managed to get all that, but that was a, a lot more expensive. It did take a lot longer since I had to import it all the way from USA in order to get those items. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, all this actually added up to about 400 odd pounds in total. Um, yeah, yeah, something like that. At least 400, but that doesn't include the sword and shield, which I'll talk about in a bit. Yeah, so um, I attended a few cosplay events, one at university. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we ran our own one at university. It was at a place. Uh, I will say what the the society is called, they were called Jack Dan, they're a really amazing group by the way. Um, so we thought, oh let's run our own one, and it's where when we did it together as about 30 people. There were quite a lot of us at this event, although there was only 30 of us. It's where some people were being, uh, they weren't being Legends of Zelda characters like I was, they were being like Pokemon characters and stuff, and they were being like Scooby Doo characters, you know, Velma and uh, Shaggy. Yeah, they were being them too. <laughs> and there was some Mad Madoka Magica girls as well that were actually cosplaying as them. They were really good at it though, and they won the contest, which I was like, yay! Because I wasn't bothered if I didn't get first place anyway. Oh yeah, a friend of mine told me that they once went to a cosplay event. I wasn't, I didn't go to this one, but it's where there was a guy who was, a bit, who was basically being a naughty boy and he, was, he actually walked on stage with a steel sword and actually stopped the wooden floor on stage and so all the lights went out and it's where 10 seconds later 10 men pin him down and threw him out. That sounded so wrong but you know. <laughs> So yeah, be careful with real weapons. I've got a wooden Master Sword sword out anyway. Oh yeah, I need to go showcase the uh, Master Sword and Shield. I was sure the shield, but the handle's a bit broken. So I'll just put a photo up on screen somewhere to show you what it looks like. Um, also, when I went to some other cosplay events, is where people were like saying, Oh look, it's Robin Hood. I kept saying, it's Link! So I thought, yeah, and it's just like only like three people at this other event knew who who I was being. So I thought, oh well, they actually got the reference. But and it's because they played Legends of Zelda games. I don't know how some people still haven't played Legends of Zelda games despite their uh, big name Nintendo intellectual property. I don't get it. Anyway, I may as well show you the Master Sword thing. So hang on. All right. Yeah, unfortunately no shield, but look at this man, I can't believe this, I got this for like £30, it was off of, uh, it was actually a present, but they spent £30 on getting this, pretty good actually, 
and it's actually made of wood in. It's made of wood. So, uh, it's like, wow, look at that. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell, tell people that I've actually tried fencing before because someone called Bruce Lee used to do it and it's where I did go to a free fencing session in, in Yorkshire but uh, I was doing karate at the same time so I thought oh I may as well just come back to it later um, it's because when you're doing fencing people tend to hold the handle of the sword differently some people hold it like that some people hold it like that with their thumb on it and, it's, uh, and it's, I was doing it like that for ages holding it like that and I swear my thumb was aching so much I dropped the sword so I had to say nah to it but yeah it's pretty good I would start slashing the air and stuff but uh, this room's too tiny I can't do it so I think I might have covered everything so yeah, I do want to go to a cosplay event at some point, but I don't know. But I will be using glasses, but I've got some right here. I do use glasses, but not a lot. So I did go to a cosplay event with glasses on, so I didn't walk around with that on. So don't worry about that. I'll be honest, the wig's not very accurate, to be honest. Not like my other wig, which um, which I which I've already showcased a few days ago. So I was like, oh. Yeah, that's everything. Um, so, so what do you think? Out of ten. Uh, oh, one last question for any of you. Uh, uh, can you tell me any of your cosplay event stories? Any funny ones? Like, oh, someone got thrown. Out, if someone tried to got pinned down or thrown out or something. Uh, just funny ones, not like violent ones, but like funny ones. <laughs> anyway. So uh, yeah, I think that's everything, so I think we'll leave it as that. I know you might be thinking, why would Edna cosplay be wearing sunglasses? Like, it's just that the hair keeps going in my face and my eyes and stuff, it actually hurt in my eyes once, so that's why. I need to look after my eyes anyway, because I need it for driving and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll see all of you next time.